Where you're going, eh? Yeah. Oh, they're all busy. I'll just go. What's happening, mate? Can't breathe. You let him go without telling me. I don't want you to cover for me. I'll take the hit. Maybe it's my fault. The two heroes. Sounds like a good story. You could not leave out any details. Dig eight, is there a problem? The um, patient was in earlier for peanut-related anaphylaxis. He told me he was discharging himself. Uh, I got busy and forgot to pass it on. Did he leave within the standard four-hour observation period? Sorry, I, I didn't know this could happen. Okay, we have HCAs allowing patients to leave without a medical review. It's going to have to be reported. I'd rather keep it within the department. What, like the same kind of self-serving cover-up you've been criticising surgical... Well, it's not like that. I'm sorry, but no one is exempted from disciplinary action. Yeah. Do I need to remind you that that man could have died? Of course you don't. And you're right, you know. I won't let it happen again, but I don't want Mo losing his job over one mistake. It was obviously a setup, mate. Shirt carefully pre ripped before every show. No way. Don't mock a legend. No, no, he probably employed someone specifically for that very job. Oh, he had bigger muscles than you. Oh, thanks to steroids, I bet. Or some other druggy cocktail. Ah, uh, see, adrenaline, the performing live man, there's nothing like it. Well, at least he didn't bite the heads off bats. That we know of. Who's this? Jed Steele. Ah, ye old dinosaurs of rock. Well, Jed may be a rockin' T-Rex to you, but, uh, you know what? What? Word is, he was always on time for work. So why are you late? Uh, Pixie was feeling pretty bad by the time I got her home. She didn't want me to leave and I forgot to keep an eye on time. OK, but you've only just got your job back, so don't let it happen again. I promise. What's this? I need any heavy lifting done, Miss? Yeah, get a few boxes of those craft beers up and into the chiller. Done. So, you and Jimmy are mating, mating out? Well, I wouldn't go that far, but you never know. We could even make a good team. Great. Ah, not still straying around bare chested then? Well, I didn't want to overexcite the bunters. Yeah, probably wise. Hey, Wendy. Hi, Jimmy. Have I had a good idea, or have I had a good idea? Apart from tearing your shirt off, you mean? Yeah, apart from that. Now, in the UK at my local, they used to have lock-ins. Oh, yeah. Brilliant way to build up loyalty with your regulars. I'm not unfamiliar with the concept. Well, what about tonight? This place is humming, man. Oh, all right, Jimmy, you're on. Yeah, feel like staying for it? Oh, Vinny's been running me ragged, so I really want an early night. But you boys have to promise me. No trouble. Come on, it won't be the same without you. He's right, you know. Why not relax for a change? Forget about Vinny. Keep an eye on us two. Yeah, we'll need a referee in case we start arguing again. Oh, joy. But you'll stay for the lock-in? Okay, I'll stay for the lock-in. Yes! Claire. Mm. Can I tell you something? Mm, of course. About Jimmy? Yeah. It's a relief, actually. So glad I've got someone to talk to about him now. Oh, well, that's what flatmates are for, right? Just I'm starting to feel a bit... Oh, I don't know. Like, I really love being with him. But it's never enough, and it's always us making the most of our time together, if you know what I mean. Unfortunately. But now I'm starting to feel... Taken advantage of? No, I had never. But I thought, you know, once I had my own place, we'd have more quality time together. <laughs> He's a man, my darling, and he probably has no idea of the way you're feeling. And he won't know, unless you tell him. Look, I can't wait here any longer. I've got to go home, the pixie. Hey, the patient pulled through. There was no harm done in the end. The way they didn't. You reckon? Yeah, I'm sure, bro. I'll give you a call if I hear anything. Cheers. Get you. Back in the game or what? Saving lives here, saving lives there. Yeah, well, it's no big deal. Don't be modest. You should have your picture in the paper. Uh, no. I'm serious. This is just the kind of publicity you need to kickstart your career again. Uh, right place, right time, that's all it was. Except there's a guy who wouldn't be here tonight if it wasn't for you. Well, yeah. <laughs> Let's get climbing that ladder then. I'm happy being an HCA. It's a waste of your ability and you know it. How good did it feel to jump into action? Uh, it was good. It felt really good to help that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going places, buddy. They are really getting their groove on tonight. It is good, eh? 
Now you got to hand it to Jimmy. People really like the different atmosphere. Hi. Hey. Yeah, as long as they don't start taking all their clothes off as well. <laughs> hey, Mazza, great party. Uh, thanks, Carly. We were going to the club, and then you went and locked us in. Well, you are free to leave any time. Right, maybe after the next round. Same again, girls? Yes, please. Ditto. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. <laughs> now, ladies, but convince you to have a cuddle on the beach, which is my personal twist on the humble pina colada. Oh, Alex is getting us drinks. Right. Wendy. Oh, I think I might have reached my limit, actually. You sure you can't be persuaded? I'll never convince your husband to put this on the cocktail menu without your approval, so drink it now. Go on. Yeah. <laughs> Full of coconutty goodness. Ooh, friend, a lot of rum, no doubt. Yeah, even I'm tempted now. That's what I'd like to hear. Ta. Oh, yeah. What about you, boss? Okay, impress me. Alrighty. <sighs> Cancel that wine for Kylie. Oh. Oh, well, agree for me. Or it could be for your best friend, Dana. How about I add an answer to your order? Save uh, the argument. Hey, okay, smooth this one. Yeah, don't I know it. Maybe we could even get you on the dance floor. Maybe. <laughs> what am I seeing your miffs? Oh, yeah, in your dreams. Two left feet, me. Except when you're fighting? Yeah, I guess. Helps to be fast when you're running away. It's been a while since I've seen things this good, eh? Yeah. Thanks for a nice change. <laughs> Morning. Grown. Oh, you look worse than me. I always look worse than you. Saying yes to Jimmy's cocktails. That was our first mistake. Oh, then there was our second mistake and our third. And have we got anything for a headache? Uh, second drawer, there should be some paracetamol. Ah, don't bounce back like I used to, that's for sure. Mm, me neither. I thought a shower would help wake me up, but oh. I feel so blah. Morning. Great night, eh? A bit too great, maybe. You let us astray, she means. It's all heads. Yeah, can't handle the pace, eh? Afraid not. You up for a quick breakfast, Jimmy? Sounds perfect, but I've got places to be, and I'm already running late. Catch ya. Late nights, I water off a duck's back to that man. Late boozy nights? Oh, I feel terrible. Well, good thing we have got the day off. Except Vinny asked me if I'd go in and orientate one of the new nurses. He shouldn't even be asking. Yeah, I know, but... Hey, you are always going the extra mile to support Vinny. Now, where is my support? You don't need support. I need someone to veg out on the couch and watch TV with me. It is. <laughs> Deal. I bet that's work again. I better answer it this time. It, it is your day off. You are not at their beck and call. No, Vinny will understand if you have got more important things to do with your life. Yeah, it might be important, though. Yeah, it's Vinny. Yeah, well, don't answer it. Hi, Vinny. Uh, no actual set plans. You have plans spending time with your husband. Sure, I can be there in, say, 45 minutes. OK, see you then. A couple of nurses called in sick and he's got no one else to cover. You just said you've got a hangover. Yeah, I feel fine now, though. We're fine enough to work. Well, we could have a really nice day together. I know. And I know that we need it, too. Another time? I suppose. What is Vinny going to do one day when he can't lean on you? I don't know. Fall apart. Mm. <sighs> I was just trying to do the right thing. He's a really good worker normally, and he needs the job badly. Granted, but from what I've seen, TK's got more than one jumped-up HCA that he's being far too lenient on, and the buck's got to stop somewhere. He would argue that you were lenient with Garrett. No, old news. Not to mention trying to fly under the radar with your 3D printer. OK, so my stickler for transparency yeah, comes unstuck when you put it like that, but it's about what's... It's this thing, the greater good. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, it sounds like your mind is made up, and I need to scrub in. Mm. Oh, is everything all right? Oh, just dandy. Uh -huh. Hi. Oh, I heard about the patient who discharged himself and then collapsed across the road. Yeah, I spoke to the HDA consultant this afternoon and he's stable. Thanks to Caleb and his MacGyver. <laughs> well done to him. Yeah, but you must have goals for the future, like five-year, ten-year plans and everything. Well, yeah, I have two goals in life, to be alive and be happy. That's what's most important. Yeah, but everyone has to have something that they strive for, don't you think? <sighs> well, I think you're overthinking it. I mean, have you ever heard of the term living in the moment? 
mean, there's something exciting about the unknown. Yeah, I guess. And you and I both know that we want to be together. That's what's most important. That's the big picture. Yeah, maybe. And how we use that time. Yeah. I agree completely. Yeah. There are so many things that we could be doing. So many missed opportunities because we haven't been organised enough. So, you, you want to make a date for something special? No, I want to make a schedule just for us. Yeah, a schedule? Yeah, so we've got balance in our lives. Like, one night a week we can stay in and cook here and then, like, another night we can go out somewhere special, a different part of town where no one knows us. Okay. Yeah, and, and one day a week we could do something new together so we get to know each other better. Cool. I've never been very good at keeping to a timetable, though. Yeah, but that's all changing now that you're stepping up and being more responsible. Yeah, I guess. So have you got your work roster on your phone? Let's work on our schedule. Oh, wait. No, I said I'd work for Max today at the bar. Oh, that's so kind of you. Yeah, I'd better go. Okay, well, have a good shift. And we can work on this later. Yeah, later, babe. Okay. Oh, shouldn't you be at work by now, mate? I'll watch the day off. It's never stopped you before. Plus, I've still got a sore head from last night. Ha, 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 ha. I wouldn't mind, but me and Wins weren't meant to be having a lazy day together. And Vinny snaps his fingers and she goes running. Well, that's a shame. Oh, she hates the feeling of letting people down, and don't they know it? Easy pickings, our wins. She needs to stick up for herself a bit more. Tell me about it. <laughs> but that's her, isn't it? She spent a life looking after people. If that's not at home, it's at work. Well, nurses. Yeah, saints. But except for the bosses who take advantage of her good nature. It makes my blood boil. It makes my head hurt even more. Fancy here at the dog? Doubt it. Check it out. Quality stuff right there. And my grandmother's favourite pick-me-up. <laughs> yeah, right. Not a word of a lie and guaranteed to get you off the couch. I like the couch. Oh, well, get you out of your grump then, eh? Hey, hey, hey. Go on then. Yep, but I am not. Repeat not getting drunk again. Would I get you drunk? Mm. <laughs> I've decided not to take the situation any further this time. Thank you so much. Yeah, but that's not to take away from the seriousness of the situation. No. The patient's wife wasn't surprised to hear that he'd discharged himself, so it sounds like it's not an uncommon for him to do it. Well, regardless, I won't forget anything that big again. Okay. And I'm sure we don't need to talk about making sure all HCAs are across where the boundaries lie. I'll make it a priority. Okay. Thanks for your time, Mo. I won't stuff up again, I promise you. Good. And, um, thanks for me too. Yeah, just don't ask me to bend the rules for you again, okay? Because I won't. I can't. Yeah, it's no fun being stuck in the middle. No, it's not. And having to set an example. Yeah, that too. And I get that it must have been a tough call, but it was the right one. I think you're going to make it awesome too, I see. Thanks. It's a learning curve. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I haven't seen your registration come through for the knowledge forum tomorrow. I wasn't going to go. Should I? Well, there'll be a wide range of community leaders there. We're better to advocate for your department. Well, I've got some time, so uh, I better get on to it. Yeah, you better head. Have a good night, Pauline. Can't wait to get out of here. Cheers, Wendy. See you tomorrow. Yeah, unless I sleep all day. Wait, 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 wait. Hold that lift. What? There's been an accident on the Harbour Bridge, which means that the motorway's ground to a halt, and Hilda and Alice are going to be late. Oh, funny. Can you just stay and come until they get here? Look, I would do it, but Nick, she, she still can't look after Bailey by herself, and I'm needed at home. Okay, if I can get the hours back later in the week. Of course, yes, you're an angel, thank you. <sighs> ta <-da. laughs> What's this? We've come to pick you up and take you to a gig. Jimmy's brainwave. A gig? Yep, three blues bands, the Queen's Arms, a mate of mine's providing it. Well, okay, A, I'm surprised you've got the energy, and B, I've just agreed to stay on for a few more hours. Oh, what? Sorry, but Vinny was in a jam. He's always in a jam. Let's not get into that again, but you boys go out and have fun if you think you're up to it. We certainly are. I just saved your husband from the couch. <laughs> yeah, but I also thought it was something fun that we could do together, you and me. Oh, that's lovely, but I can't let Vinny down. Well, the lady's not returning, mate. Just don't get too drunk and don't get arrested. Okay. Bye. Uh, I should give Vinny a piece of my mind. Can you spare it, mate? 
Oh, probably not. Hey, thanks for the knowledge forum, Guff. Guff? If you know what I mean. I'm so good. I mean, there's actually some really solid community initiatives on the agenda, so maybe it'll be less of a schmooze fist and something a bit more practical. Yeah, fingers crossed. Is this the knowledge forum? Yeah, TK is going to represent ED. Mm. So can we wangle an invite too? I noticed it was only department heads that could register. Yeah, that's right. Our places are limited. Well, Cassie's away. Who's representing the GPs? No one, now that you mention it. There you go then. Put Caleb and me down. We'll be there with bells on. I'll see what I can do. Brilliant. Right. Right up. Why'd you drag me into that? Because we're a team. Why else? And there's going to be some real movers and shakers at this forum. Just the kind of people we need to meet. Except I've already told you I'm happy being an HCA. You may think you mean that. But I do mean that. Why don't you ever listen to me? Is this an ongoing argument? He's giving up on all the ambitions he used to have. I, I just think he could be happier. He'll get there. Just give him time. You sit around and let the grass grow. Other people grab all the opportunities. Yes. And that's exactly why I'm going to this forum. To wave the flag for ED and see what can get happening. Good on you. Hmm. Maybe I can help. Yeah? No agenda. It's just... It would be good to see someone else's career go well. <laughs> all right. Well, if I think of a way you can help, I'll let you know. Don't talk about it. <laughs> well, I'm done here. Let's pop into the IV for a drink. Oh, I wish I could join you, but I'm dead on my feet. Oh, I didn't even know you were working today. Well, I wasn't supposed to be, and then I got asked to stay on for a few more hours. Oh, well, we'll say hello to Murray for you. And Jimmy. Well, you'll be lucky they've gone to a gig. A gig? Trying to relive their lost youth, if you ask me. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of bands on at the Queen's Arms. Well, that doesn't sound like Dad. Well, Jimmy's idea. I think he's trying to lead your father astray, just quietly. <laughs> He said he had to work. Plans must have changed. They did change. Why didn't he tell me? This was supposed to be quality time for us. I'm sure there's a good explanation. Mm. Isn't there always? Uh, well, I know I've got the keys here somewhere. Oh, wait, maybe we'll lift them in the taxi. Oh, I hope not. Oh, here wow. they are. False alarm. You know what I'm craving right now? Not another whiskey. No, a steak and cheese pie. Mm -hmm. That's exactly <laughs> what I need right now. Um, and I suppose you've got any tucked away in there, have you? Well, not here I haven't, but I have got the best steak and cheese in town at the hospital cafe. I would kill someone. I bet you we can catch him at this real quick. Hey, Taxi! I uh, don't even know what time it is. Like... Well, I reckon she's gone home. This pie is so good. Mm-hmm. Oh, dude. Oh. Mm. Where is everybody? Looks like the ship is deserted. Ah, oh, like the Titanic. No, 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 that was another ship. Oh, was it? Hmm? <sighs> Spooky, eh? You know what I heard? Once upon a time, they had secret poker games in the basement. Yeah? Hmm. That's probably where they all are. It's climbing off while the patients are asleep. Well, I like the sound of this poker game. Let's go and find it. <laughs> you were wrong. Hey. What's this? Is a note for Wendy. Hmm? Can you please finish this perception report and get all the other paperwork done by 10 a.m.? Bloody, <laughs> bloody Vinny. Hey. Only, as if doing double shifts is not enough, he treats her like his personal slave. Oh. You should write him a note. You know what? I think I will. There you go. Right. Vinny. Stop taking advantage of Wendy. Good man. Exclamation. Ah. <laughs> I reckon we'll do some more of these. Yep. Want to help? Yeah. Vinny! Do your job. <laughs> Morning, guys. Morning. Hi, Abba. Uh, I'm really sorry, but I wasn't able to get any more invites to the forum. Uh. Hey, just come as my plus one. Yeah? Yeah, I'm sure you'll get a lot out of it. Great. I'll back you up when you take them on. 
take them on. She's exaggerating. Maybe, but you're going to remind them how important Edie is to the community, right? Yeah. Right. And how it deserves a bigger slice of the pie. Well, it does. So you have to speak up. Make sure you're heard. Be a bulldog. <laughs> Keep on keeping on, and don't you let up until you got them. Be a bulldog? What kind of advice is that? Oh, it's just partner advice. She wants me to be more assertive, and you know she's right. There's a fine line between assertive and aggressive. Yes, I know. I'm going to stick on the right side of that line. Don't you fret. <clears throat> Don't worry. I'll wear my best behaviour badge. Ah, we both will. I'll make sure you do. Brother, it's all good. Yeah, she's just sticking up for the little guy. What, you little? You know what I mean. Hard in the right place and all that. Yeah, we got your back, as always. True that. Fun of first day. Yeah. Hey, how would you guys feel about moving back in with me until then? You sure? Yeah, I think it's time we put the past behind us and focus on what's more important. Not only do you get the superior muscle tone and lost a 3,000 total body workout package, don't you call now, we'll throw another $200 worth of extras. Check it out. Morning! Oh, hey, what? Oh, what? Good gig, was it? Uh, I don't remember. Uh, I'm off to earn a living. I'll see you later. Be good. Hey, what are you doing there? Oh, nothing. Just sitting here with my kid. Not much. What's that? What? On your face. Finney, Wendy is not your doormat. Oh no. Oh, we didn't. All they want is a future together. Tell them how many kids you want. Five. Oh. <laughs> but will his past... Alex's sexuality is Lucy's business. Betray them. You're not ashamed, and why are you scared of telling her? Oh. Ah, it's the adrenaline of performing live, man. There's nothing like it. Well, at least he didn't bite the heads off bats. That we know of. Who's this? Jed Steele. Ah, ye old dinosaurs of rock. Well, Jed may be a rockin' T-Rex to you, but, uh, you know what? What? Word is, he was always on time for work. So why are you late? Pixie was feeling pretty bad by the time I got her home. She didn't want me to leave and I forgot to keep an eye on the time. Okay, but you've only just got your job back, so don't let it happen again. Promise. What's this? And any heavy lifting done, Miss? Yeah, get a few boxes of those craft beers up and into the gym. You're going, eh? Yeah. Oh, they're all busy. I'll just go. <laughs> What's happening, mate? <laughs> Can't breathe. You let him go without telling anyone. I don't want you to cover for me. I'll take the hit. Maybe it's my fault. The two heroes. Sounds like a good story. You could not leave out any details. Diego, is there a problem? The um, patient was in earlier for peanut-related anaphylaxis. He told me he was discharging himself. I got busy and forgot to pass it on. Did he leave within the standard four-hour observation period? Sorry, I, I didn't know this could happen. OK, we have HCAs allowing patients to leave without a medical review. It's gonna kill her. Done. So, you and Jimmy are mating, mating out? Well, I wouldn't go that far, but you never know. We could even make a good team. Great. Uh, not still straying around Beer Chester then? Well, I didn't want to overexcite the bunters. Yeah, probably wise. Hey, Wendy. Hi, Jimmy. Have I had a good idea, or have I had a good idea? Apart from tearing your shirt off, you mean? Yeah, apart from that. Now, in the UK at my local, they used to have lock ins. Oh, yeah. Brilliant way to build up loyalty with your regulars. I'm not unfamiliar with the concept. Well, what about tonight? This place is humming, man. Oh, all right, Jimmy, you're on. Yep, feel like staying for it? Oh, Vinny's been running me ragged, so I really want an early night. But you boys have to promise me. No trouble. Come on, it won't be the same without you. He's right, you know. Why not relax for a change? Forget about Vinny. Keep an eye on us too. <laughs> Yeah, we'll need a referee in case we start arguing again. Oh, joy. <laughs> but you'll stay for the lock-in? OK, I'll stay for the lock-in. Yes! yes! Claire. Mm. Can I tell you something? Mm, of course. About Jimmy? Yeah. That's a relief, actually. So glad I've got someone to talk to about him now. Uh -huh. Well, that's what flatmates are for, right? I have to be reported. I'd rather keep it within the department. Well, like the same kind of self-serving cover-up you've been criticising surgical... Well, it's not like that. I'm sorry, but no one is exempted from disciplinary action. Yeah. Do I need to remind you that that man could have died? Of course you don't. 
And you're right, you know. I won't let it happen again, but I don't want Mo losing his job over one mistake. It was obviously a setup, mate. Shirt carefully pre ripped before every show. No way. Don't mock a legend. No, no, he probably employed someone specifically for that very job. Oh, he had bigger muscles than you. Oh, thanks to steroids, I bet. Or some other druggy cock.